What's, What's up, up guys? guys? I'm your girl Jenny. I'm your boy Zante. And we're the official. <laughs> I never get tired of that. Anyways, what's up guys? If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Yeah. If you do enjoy this video, give us um, a thumbs up. We appreciate all of y'all. We've been watching some awesome content lately. Um, we just wanted to give a short message out very quickly yes. and let you guys know that you have purpose. If you feel like you're struggling, if you feel like you're struggling to find your purpose or, you know, get on your feet, just get up. Just do it because we all are struggling some way, somehow. We all are trying to find our way in something in our life. So don't give up and keep pursuing your dreams no matter what because God is with you. That's it. I mean, it ain't nothing else to say about that, guys. We come up to you straight raw about everything we wear. I don't know about you, man. This, this whole purpose thing is, is a big key. A lot of us like to talk about purpose a lot. A lot of us ain't following. A lot of us ain't on the path to try to figure it out. A lot of us ain't trying to, to get it together. But my question to you is, in this journey of what we going through as a couple, as a YouTuber, do you feel like you found your purpose? I have found my true purpose. My true purpose is to be a content creator. But I feel like I'm one of those people that have just multiple things along the line because there's so much things that I want. But over this past year, I have been struggling personally of finding my purpose of who I am, what I'm supposed to be, not caring what others think. Um, yeah, and it's not so much that, you know, you care what others think. think. It's just that you want to portray yourself in a way, but people sometimes just need to see that raw, genuine you, because that's what they appreciate at the end. Yeah, you're right about that, because I tell you, it's just like you being at work, right? And you, like I said, like, no matter, like what we were talking earlier, when we go to work, you know, we go to work, sometimes we work these jobs, we just temporarily, we say sometimes it's temporarily until we find that great job, but deep down inside, that temporarily sometimes turn from a year to two years to three years, four years, five years. Next, you know, you ten years deep into the company, and you still never really achieved anything. Yeah. And then you're still saying to yourself, "It's temporarily." You might as well throw the temporary thing away. Yeah. Right. I agree, and you know, and you might say you might be like, for instance, you know, I'm gonna be raw and truthful. For instance, I've been struggling the last year finding my true purpose. Because, you know, you think you want something, but when you go for it and you see you don't have passion for it, yes. that's telling you right there that wasn't meant for you. God is telling you, no, you want this, but this is not what I want for you. That's right. And you need to you need to listen to what God is saying. Overall, you can't be making decisions on your own. Yeah, you a big boy. Yeah, you a big girl. But what is God saying in the midst? What is he telling you to do? Because sometimes what you might not want to do is exactly what he wants you to do because you might find love at, at it in the end. So me being a content creator, I'm trying to come out of my cocoon and be like, okay, this is what I want to do. And then I have somebody here next to me pushing me off the edge and it feels great. It's scary as hell, but it feels great because it's just like, damn, I got somebody by my side who loves me for who I am, loves God in the midst. Yes, sir. And is trying to tell me, okay, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta seek God the whole way through when you're finding this true purpose. That's the whole purpose of uh faith. That's the whole purpose of faith. We all a lot of us say that we love God, we understand who God is, we know how much God has done in our life, but we struggle with the most of getting through the fear of understanding whatever move that we make. We keep saying that we're going to put them apart, but at the same time, we're really not because we keep taking time to do it ourselves. And that's where the fear kicks in. We're not even really asking him and bringing him along towards the journey of what we're about to do of this thing called purpose. Yeah. We sit here and just keep beating ourselves down left and right, talking about, I want to do this, but I can't. Oh, I'm, I'm shy or I, I can't. I can't because I don't look this way or I need to look like that. I don't care if my haircut, I ain't got a haircut. I don't care if my face, I look like, I look crazy. I don't care if I got boogers in my nose. But if God is giving me a chance to be able to get over here, I'm going to go. And and it's, that's what faith is about. It ain't about who the people who's around you. It's about who's in front of you. 
where you need to be at. He's right there. He's going to walk you to your destination anyway. And that's why this whole thing about the whole purpose we've just been talking about. We've been, we both, it's not just her. We've both been trying to figure out for a while what we want to do, our purpose. But it's time to claim it, people. It's time to claim what you want. Shoot. Yeah, you might be a YouTuber. You might say, this is what I want to do. It might be something else in life. But it's what you bring <laughs> to the table. We just, we just straight out saying it right now. We want to be digital content creators. Guess what? That don't mean it's just for YouTube. It's for other platforms, too. It's just being a digital creator. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's already the ultimate creator already. He's already given us the gifts and the thought process and the, and the stuff that's going on. Check out check our TikToks out. You see it right off the top. You Check out TikToks. We're trying to come up with some. We've been coming up with new content left and right. Just haven't really been posting so much of it on YouTube. But now we're starting to put the videos out of things that we talk about. And we're going to start hitting this dead on the dime. We have so many great conversations amongst each other that it's time. To, we, we just like, that's it. It's, somebody need to hear what we got to say because if I'm empowered, she empowered, I guarantee you there's somebody out there just like us. We want to empower the other people just like us who's in that position, who's not afraid, who's who's tired of being afraid, who's tired of feeling like they're down and out and feeling like they 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 just stuck. I don't want to be at the age, I don't want to be in my 20s, in my 30s, or in my 40s anymore, still trying to figure it out. You got people still in their 40s, 50s, still trying to figure it out. Because you know why? We listen to everybody else around us, all the people who we grew up with, old friends that you used to be with. Everybody wants you to have a picture of you looking like this when you supposed to have been looking like this. That's it. You supposed to have been over here, but God had this for you the whole time. We too busy trying to be this, qualify for this, and guess what? We got stuck. And now that temporary feeling that you always supposed to, that supposed to have been temporarily became something permanently. And now you stuck. Now you feel like you're stuck and you can't get out. You feel like the benefits of what you've been doing in the temporary situation is, has been paying you off, but it only been getting you by. And still you drowning. So what are we going to do about that, y'all? What are we going to do about that, baby? We going to get out? We going to stop being temporary? We going to stop being temporary mindset? Or we going to make it permanent that we going to go all out in our purpose? Yeah, um, I agree with what you said. Um, definitely go all out with your purpose and just be you and figure out, you know, whether you want to be an influencer on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok, just do it. Just get on your feet. Just do it. Whether you want to become a professor, a doctor, um, a hot dog stand man at the stadium, no matter what you want to do, just do it. <laughs> if you like to sell the glizzy by the, by the, by the pound at the, at the dawn, the stadium, go sell your glizzy at the stadium. You do what you what? do. If it makes you happy, that's called serving. That's what God like. He wants you to serve. You decide to serve to the people, the people who are hungry. You're a server. Naturally at heart. It don't matter what you're serving. As long as you serve. That's it. And we love you guys. Thank you for listening. Um, and yeah, have a great day. Have a good day. Enjoy your day. Love y'all. We miss y'all. Mm. <laughs> These guys <are> <laughs>